Grow your purpose. Grow your wealth. Grow your impact. Find out how to spend less time in the dental chair and more time on the things you love. Welcome back to the Dental Wealth Podcast. Um, Matthew, I've let you pick the episode for the last uh, few episodes. I think we've talked about um, some of the growth stuff. We've talked about, you know, just different questions people have. But I, if it's okay with you, I'm going to kind of just go on a topic right. this time. All right. Mix All right. It now, I haven't, you know, everything we've been doing <laughs> lately is really about these, like, these, these client-focused questions. Mm-hmm. And I love that. But I always still go back and just say, like, what are some, sometimes we have to pull back and say, okay, one of the reasons why Tower Leadership was created was because I said, look, people have to be leaders and they have to grow and we can grow, you know, we can put systems in place, but if they're not leaders, they're not going to grow. And so I want to talk about limited beliefs if, if everyone will indulge me for a second, because I think we've spent a lot of time on practice, but I always think this comes back down to a huge part of your own growth and how you grow this practice. So, um, I was having a conversation with Grant. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Grant's my son. <laughs> and we were having this conversation. Now you can imagine me and my child because I spend <laughs> so much time talking about like, it's like he knows more about business at yeah. the age of 12 than most do at like 82. Um, but we were having this conversation and I said, let me ask you a question. And I was, I was kind of doing this as a test for like self-imposed limitations. So I said, what are you? And, and he said, I'm a teenager. By the way, I didn't know where he was going with it, but he said, I'm a teenager. Now he's bit technically yeah. not, right? But he said, I'm a teenager. And I said, well, what made you believe that? And he was, his answer was, I don't know, right? <laughs> no, well, I didn't expect and I said, a follow-up. I said, it's interesting. I said, I, I want to kind of, so what do you think I see him? So let's just say we're at three categories, right? Category one, he's a man. Mm-hmm. Category two, he's a teenager. And then category three, he's a child. Mm-hmm. Now, how do you think I see him? Child. Child. I think man. I do too. <laughs> like, I'm no good child. forever. And then he sees himself as a teenager. And then some cultures would actually say he's about to become a man, yeah. right? Um, and so we go back and look at this. So I was having this conversation about how we create these own limits in our own brain. So I said, interestingly enough, you call, called yourself a teenager. I said, I said, now, where did the word teenager come from? Okay. Now, teenager, someone once upon a time said there should be a middle, right? Yeah. <laughs> because we met that person. We're like, you're not a man, right? Yeah. Or, you know, you're, you're not there yet. Not so they created this term. And so, so then we started looking around. So then I say, so I want to use this as an example. It goes back to, to growth. So then he looks around and he says, well, my friends are all the same. I've got mm-hmm. acne or whatever. It happens around that age and going, you know, through that time. And so he starts to look for evidence that he's a teenager yeah. based on his attitude, based on the way his chemistry and his brain's changing, he's looking based at the, the way his body's down. changing. And he says, look, I'm a teenager. I see the evidence around me. Yeah. Well, he could have just as easily said, I'm a man. But he said, I'm a teenager. And I thought that was really interesting in our conversation because I said to myself, like, wow, isn't that funny how he did that? Mm-hmm. He used a construct that somebody else created. Then he adopted it. Then he looked for evidence that it was true. And now he's owned it as his identity. Yeah. And I said to him, why aren't you a man? Because a lot of cultures would say you are or you're mm-hmm. about to be you're a about man. To be and he was so like, because oh, I'm not there yet. And I'm yeah. like, interesting. Because it's my same argument about why people don't become as successful as they can. The doctor, go back to the same thing, mm-hmm. okay? So the doctor looks at people that are highly successful, highly successful. So we're going to say, you know, I'll just go even outside of and say Elon Musk, Bill Gates, right? let's call it we'll call this like billionaire yeah right so i'll put a billionaire Billion. then we'll put down below this we'll put down like the the bottom category would be um non we'll, we'll say put i'm gonna just put lower socioeconomic how about that so and then in the middle we would have a million dollar net worth And so what I would ask this doctor is, who are you? Who are you? Okay, if we we pick these categories, what do you think the doctor would say? 
Million dollar net worth. On the million dollar net worth, right? Yeah. That's and by the way, That's this is what I say your car. So what ended up happening was now all of a sudden you go, look, let me see if that's true. Mm-hmm. I drive. Um 2019, I don't drive this, but this yeah. is a 2019 BMW 7 Series, mm-hmm. which is what somebody in that category would drive. I belong to the country club. Yep. I go on vacations with my families that, that a million dollar net worth would have. Mm-hmm. I have a successful business. I look around and just like he said, I'm a teenager, that person says, that's who I am. And then they create a ceiling, this limited belief ceiling. Like my son, if I told him, I want you to instantly click and say, I'm a man, he'd be like, but there's no evidence I'm yeah. a man. How do I do? I, I would argue that there is, right? Um, and, and so the same thing happens with the person trying to, so like, by the way, Matthew has a note, like he didn't know this, like that I was gonna go into this. So he's like, what the hell is he talking and about? It's, it's interesting enough. Like, <laughs> and I have, I basically have, I just was thinking about it. I have like a I have statistics on this because when somebody comes and they call tower leadership prior to that most of the time I haven't filled out a questionnaire and I would say nine out of the ten questionnaires that come through we have them say what is your future net worth goals <sighs> and nine out of ten times it says a million dollars it does some stuff and I ask them well why'd you put just a million dollars oh I don't know. It just sounded like a good number. Like it sounded like a good number. Society told that person this was successful. Yep. They looked at the average person. They they looked at what low socioeconomic. By the way, they compared themselves to low mm-hmm. socioeconomic. They looked for proof that they're that person, and then they identified at it and solidified it and created that's who they are. Now. The reason why I even came into this conversation, by the way, I was like doing some like deep like reading and <laughs> I said, I'm trying to solve a problem. My son said, what are you trying to solve? Why is it that I can take two doctors, both with the same access to capital mm-hmm. and both with every born in America, great families, good dental schools, every reason to do well, one blows it up and becomes highly successful and the other can't get out of their damn way. And like, there's no, well, we could do a regression analysis or yeah. something. When we look at this, we'd say, we'd have to say like, it's completely in the mind. Like it's, it's in the mind. And by the way, the person who like has, can't get out of their way. Yeah. Now, by the way, I broke this into three layers. We could break it into 500 layers if we wanted to, right? We could certainly break this out into different layers and then we could actually move people up the layers and say, Mm -hmm. do you identify with this person? 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 And we'd eventually find a place, like if we moved people up this 500 level scale, we'd eventually find a place where the person says, that's where I identify. And once they've identified with that level, so let's actually get rid of our 500 and say 10. Once they've identified with that level, my argument is they never leave it. Mm-hmm. And my argument is that they, they literally will find every reason. Now, it's the same person who, they, there's, there's, there's a book where it describes this as an upper limit problem that believe it or not, that people will self-sabotage themselves. And that like once they, like they always have a bad marriage, they always are going bankrupt, they're always behind on their bills, they're always behind. And like, there's an argument to be made that there's psychology around that, that every time they go to leave that limit, Mm -hmm. they sabotage themselves. And I would argue that if we have this 10 10 limit, like socioeconomic scale, and I put that doctor on that limit, what ends up happening is they lock themselves into that damn scale. And every time we about to get moved up to the next level, Mm -hmm. they self-sabotage every single time, whether it's going to buy a new car because the fact that like they were about to hit the next social economic layer, they go buy a boat, mm-hmm. they go buy a car, they go buy a vacation home, boom, right back down again. It's like they can't allow themselves to move up the socioeconomic. Well, the same thing happens with like buying dental practices, becoming successful, getting yourself out of the chair. And what ends up happening is that we identify, what, so what we happens once we hit this layer, mm-hmm. Like I'm creating content on the fly, by the way. <laughs> so, by the way, none of this is like I'm talking to you guys about. None of this is pre-done. I'm just thinking out loud. And you're going to find evidence too in the marketplace that supports your claims. So, 
<laughs> it's like F content on the fly by Eric Morin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so what we do is we look through, by the way, this is the way my brain works. This is what I spend my, my, my weekends talking to my son about. That's why I said like you, if you were spending like all day with me, I'd drive, I'd drive you nuts. But so what happens is we, we find ourselves then, if that's true, then, then we have to identify where we are at. Yep. We have to identify that let's, like I would challenge you listening to this podcast to do an exercise for me. Create 10 or 20, whatever you feel like doing, levels of socioeconomic. So it's like, and use net worth, like, yeah. you know, or you could use it, by the way, you could have how much personal debt they have. You could use different things, right, as your analysis point. You could yeah. use different strategies or different ways to look at it. It could be practice revenue. It could be personal net worth. It could be debt. But put those into like 25 layers and then, or 10 layers or whatever you want to, and then identify where you're at. And then, and I want you to think about like, watch all the ways you sabotage yourself from getting to the next level. And then I want you to think about the people you spend time with. This is why people say that the net worth, your net worth is the 10 closest people you hang out with. The reason why that's true is because watch what happens. You identify with those people. You identify with the people that you that that have that same level. So I would argue that the people that you spend time with are all the people that are on that exact same bar. And and watch it. Like go go test it out. Go test it out. By the way, you attract the people from that bar too. That bar, that ten level bar. Let's use a ten level bar. You're attracting the same people. Watch, look on that bar. Like you're attracting all the people that are on that same bar. And then what ends up happening is like you keep yourself and you self sabotage. Now, one of the reasons why you self sabotage is because truly you don't want to lose your friends. You don't want to be alone. You don't like these are the people that have now become your ilk. These are the people that have become your friends. These are the people that you say, look, if I was to move to the next bar, I would lose these people. And so we self-sabotage and we keep ourselves down and we set self-imposed limitations and we don't allow us to move to the next level of growth. And so what ends up happening is like this, just like when I was saying my son would call himself a teenager and say, look, I'm stuck at a teenager. He's not, he's going, all his friends, I guarantee you, all have said that they're teenagers. And so he's identified as that. And he knew, knows if he walked up into all of his teenagers, all his friends and said, I'm not a teenager, I'm a man, he would probably be alienated. They'd be like, whoa, you're not a man. And it would probably cause conflict. Believe it or not, your net worth will do the same thing. Your income will do the same thing. Your mindset will do the same thing. What happens when you walk into that same group with a different mindset is you start alienating that yourself. And as you start alienating yourself, you'll start being reduced from that group. And as that starts to happen, you have to find the next group. Well, the only way to do that, interestingly, remember people attract what they become. You would have to become more so that you attract the people from the next rung. I hope I'm not losing you here. <laughs> But you would have to, to get the people on the next run to spend time with you. You have to personally grow. And it's easier to not grow. It's easier to sit on the same rung with the same friends, with the same people, doing the same thing in your same life, with your same car, in your same house, with your same problems, and never make the changes necessary. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. This is a wealth podcast. For you to have more, you must become more. And who are you identifying as? Who is on your rung? And you'll see they're all on your rung. I can go to the country club back and see the same 10 doctors hanging out with each other. Now they probably look around and they say, but, but look at us, look at us compared to everyone else in America. But that's not who you should be comparing yourself to. You should be comparing, comparing yourself to the people on the next rung. Or three rungs higher, hell, skip a rung. <laughs> I would encourage you to skip a rung. And by doing that, it'll, it'll make all the difference in the world. Look, I mean, you got to have these conversations. You got to be willing to have these conversations. And you got to be around people that are having these conversations. Look, I want to encourage you to grow. One of the reasons why this podcast was created was to get a message out there because I believe your potential is so much higher than you can possibly imagine. 
no one showed you how to go get it. No one showed you how to reinvest the capital. And, and so what we do is we end up staying with the same socioeconomic group and never hitting our potential. And that potential means having a life where we have more money to know what to do with and more time than we know what to do with. And then we get to go live the life we want and impact so many other people. So I want you to take what I'm talking about in this podcast. I want you to do that. Go create 10 levels, 10 or 25 or whatever you want to do. And I want you to create those rungs. And whether you use net worth or personal debt or whatever you want, I want you to create those rungs. Put yourself on them and then figure out how to skip a rung and what would you need? What would the qualities of that next rung be? What do, where do they hang out? What is their net worth? What do they read? What do they do? One of the reasons why, why in Financial Evolution I talk about putting 10% of your income into personal growth is so you can skip a rung, maybe three rungs. There's a part of financial evolution where I talk about that because it's so key. I want to introduce you to the things like if you're listening to this podcast, you should have already read financial evolution. If you haven't, get yourself a copy. And some of the comments we get are so great, and I'm so thankful for that. Attend something where I'm there. Listen, we'd love to have you. Look, I'd love to have you. I think uh, this podcast is probably going out at the end of November or somewhere in November. Look, we've got... Like, I'd love for you to come spend two days with me in December. If you, if that's something that interests you and you're like, I'd love to spend two days talking through the dental wealth concepts, I'd love to have you. So, you know, uh, you know, reach out to Tower Leadership, ask about those two days. They're coming up. Come spend a few days with me because in those few days, I will talk you through. I don't use this podcast as a, as a, a pitch for Tower Leadership or what I do. I give this content to you because I want you to have content that you can go back and put in your life. Sometimes, though, proximity is power. Sometimes proximity is power. Being in the room, being able to ask the question, being able to ask your question, being in a room with people asking similar questions is powerful. In reinvesting 10% of your total income into yourself, that's how we skip rungs as we, we create information that we didn't have before and around people that are maybe on a different rung and by being in those rooms i pay to be in rooms by the way some rooms i get invited to speak in some rooms i'm i'm listening to someone speak right and so it depends on what we're trying to get accomplished but you've got to invest in you and so if you're looking to try to make that move i, I you know you might be listening to this who knows what time of year it could be five years from now you're listening to this podcast but if you're listening to this right when this is get released, I would come and encourage you. I'd love to have you come spend a few days with me. And if you call Tower Leadership to say, hey, like I'd go spend, love to spend a few days. Eric talked about he's doing a two day uh, virtual. It's by the way, it's virtual and um, in person. Um, for those of you that you know don't want to travel during this time, I'd love to have you. And uh, you know, it's it's nothing. It's it's a few grand. It's nothing. It's a patient. Um, but I'll take you know I'll take a you know a third of the price off just by saying dental wealth call him say look i listen to eric on his podcast he said look I, he'd love to like he's doing a two-day thing where he's going to invite people to come in person or virtually and i'd love to take advantage of of what he talked about on the podcast and come spend a few days with him um and 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 talk about what, what i want to get accomplished in the next 12 months and how to move capital and how to pay off debt and how to create wealth and and how to change my mindset and how to be around, you know, create proximity to people doing amazing things. And he said he would take off a third of the price just for coming. And if you're not willing to spend a few thousand bucks to, to invest in yourself, I mean, look, I don't care if it's Tower Leadership or some other organization. You got to question how serious of a student you are. You do. You got to question that. Um, because, look, it's like the person who calls me up and says, you know, or, or says, you know, I'd love to come spend some time with you, but I, you know, I've got this thing where I'm going to go do, you know, something that isn't priority. If this business is your priority and your family is your priority and your impact is your priority, spend those times doing and growing. I encourage you in the next 12 months, the next 14 months, and the rest of your life. I was just having a conversation this morning. It was like, look, this is a journey. Getting better isn't a hack. Growing isn't a hack. Um, there's no trick. It's a constant daily process. It's about 
being around the right people in the right rooms. I cannot tell you how much money I've made by being in the right rooms at the right time. They're the right, right people. And you know it's true. I'll guarantee come spend two days with me and, and, and it's an amazing thing. Like I said, I don't use this podcast to pitch. Um, I think this is content that um, should be free and I think it's an important thing to put that out there like that. So let me make that clear. Um, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to get on here and start trying to sell you things because I don't think that's the, what, what this podcast is for. With that said, I can't serve you if you don't ever spend any time with me. So I'd love for you to, and thank you for allowing me to just take a minute and say, look, come spend two days with me. Come spend a day or two with me. Let's talk through your situation. Let's talk through what you're trying to get accomplished. Let's let's be in a room of, of amazing people doing amazing things having amazing conversations um you know if, if that's something you'd like to do um when you call tower leadership just tell him i was listening to eric's podcast and he said he'd give me a hookup <laughs> and uh and and do that and if not look do something else go go find some other organization go invest in you i don't care i don't care if it's um you, you know whatever it is i mean you know, we could talk forever about those things but if you find this compelling you want to continue the conversation love to have you in person but either way invest in you invest in your growth invest in your education invest in your in your ability to grow that wrong i truly believe that we're all we're all like trapped at a certain mindset and that mindset holds us back it holds us back from from that next wrong that next ability to impact it holds us back from paying debt it holds us back from getting out of the dental chair one thing i'm damn good is getting doctors out of the dental chair why because i want them to be able to, to focus on building their business so they can have the quality of life they want so look i love this profession so uh, matthew thank you for being here today thank you i mean it's always fun 94 and thank you for listening. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, it's always it means a lot. One of the things I do is look, look, I think this, this conversation is a great conversation. So my encouragement would be, as I tell you on some of these episodes, like sit down with like your peers, hell come to the two days with your peers, get a group of you together, um, and come together or do it virtually in a room. You guys could do you know, in another state, you could do it virtually and watch virtually or spend that time virtually. You still be able to ask questions. Um, after these podcasts, you know, I do these twice a week. Do a, do a meeting where you do it once a week. I mean, pour into your own education. Talk through the concepts together. Talk about your own rungs and, and where do you guys find your own self-imposed limitations? What's holding you back? What have you identified as? Like, do that and then talk about what the action steps you could utilize to jump a rung or jump two or three rungs and get to the next place. So, um, you know, use this time as, as, you know, as a way to get focused. Um, I'm going to ask a personal favor. Uh, the numbers for this podcast are going through the roof. Um, you know, recently we, we launched it on YouTube. Thanks to our amazing videographer here. Um, and so, look, I'd ask you to do me a favor. Go on YouTube. Um, I, I think you should watch on YouTube because I think you'll see facial expressions, which I think makes a big difference. Um, so I would encourage you to do it that way. But either way, do me a favor. Go to YouTube and hit subscribe. It would mean a lot. That's like asking you a personal favor. Uh, but do that for me. Uh, let's get some traction on YouTube. Um, so because you want to be notified when the episodes come out. It's another way to do it. Maybe sometimes you're in the car and it's easier to listen to the podcast audio. Sometimes it's great video, so you know you'll get notifications. I think that's the most important reason to subscribe. If you haven't read Financial Evolution, read it. You know, I mean, we're getting people. I mean, I just had a doctor tell me I was I read it on a on a uh, trip across country, and um, by the time I got back, I went on Amazon and bought five copies for friends. Um, I take that as a huge compliment, um, but it's like twenty bucks. I mean, or something like that. I mean. Like invest in your self-education. Um, if you love it, I'd, I'd appreciate you also going on and, 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 and writing a comment um, on uh, Amazon. But uh, thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Look, level up. Move your life. My, my, my whole purpose in being here is purpose. I love to see you grow. I love to see you do amazing things. That's where I get my success. Your success is my success. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.